Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lambeau. 40-yard line. Defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taking it about the one. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a heck of a return as he goes out of bounds across the 50 inside the 45. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game. For here's where the breaks are made is the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. Now a first down carry by Jones. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. On play action, it's Rodgers. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 23 yards to pick up there. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. James Bradbury there to make the tackle. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Eyes the crossing route and hits Watson. And it's a Packers touchdown. Aaron Rodgers finding Christian Watson. And the Packers have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. And it's no good. He missed it. And the game remains tied. Oh, boy. So back even at six apiece as the kick's away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Burtz and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 23. They'll send the tight end in motion left. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down, back to Sanders. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On 
third and short. They'll try and pick it up through the air. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. To throw is Rodgers. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. There he goes, left side. He's at the 30, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Ah, oh, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, oh, you're bringing back great memories. Used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it. And then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you, what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski, okay? Oski was an for different teams. Different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be a two syllable syllables, word. Yeah. You, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw, it's Rodgers. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football and now zapped right back in the other direction. Rodgers to throw for it on four. He'll complete this one to Watson. And he is going to have a Packers first down on a well-designed play there. That gets him 16 to move the chains. And inside give to Jones. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now. Rodgers. A quick throw there going to be batted away at incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing 
is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second down, another shot for Jones. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Now Rodgers. He finds Randall Cobb on the completion. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 27-yard line. After one, our score, 12 to 6. and 10. Here's Rodgers letting one go deep for the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. On play action, Rodgers. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed it. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. The kick by Crosby is good, and that will bring the deficit back down to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. To the main field goal. Now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe you give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. Inside the 10, a big play there on the catch and run, and even 70 yards. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field, but if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. They'll run with Sanders, and he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game and ground, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. On second down, here's Rodgers. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Rogers now on first down. He'll go right back to Tunyon. The 40. The 20. 10. 5. Touchdown, Packers. Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill. A Devontae Adams and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Hey, check that, check that. 50, 50, 50, 50. On second and ten, Hurts trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it, and the Packers are going to take possession of the football. And that's now the second time he's picked up the pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively, and you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. Here's a give to Jones running left. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. On play action, now Rodgers. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Running right, Jones. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again, it's Jones. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, a 9-yard touchdown run as they have taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line. 
because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Again, that's Watkins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll drop to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Oh, it's a wobbler here. He'll take it at the 42. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Rodgers. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range at the 28. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, Rodgers. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now it's Rodgers. Throw left side complete. That's Jones. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Made his first. This now from 42 yards out. The kick by Crosby is good, and that will do it for this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 35. They'll run with Sanders. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Second down, back to Sanders. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Packers pick it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I know one thing. The team that had the ball and was driving, they're going to feel horrible. But the team that was on defense, I think we got to give them a little bit of credit, able to hang in there and force a key turnover. In the red zone, though, had a chance to tie it and an opportunity missed. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They'll take over deep in their own end after the fumble recovery as they start first and ten. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Rogers going to give this one to Dylan. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. A first down run here by Jones as he'll take it forward for a game of about four. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. And here's Jones again on second down. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Packers on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Run, run. Here's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. After the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. They'll try the right side with Jones. And he's got some space here. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 49 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Every yard they gain, getting them better and better field position, and obviously a field goal makes this a two-score contest. That's really all they need. And that means for your play caller, he's not looking to the attack portion of his sheet, right? He's looking for, okay, what do we have that's going to keep us in a good spot, no lost yardage plays, let's kick a field goal and go up two scores. If we score a touchdown, great, but that's not what you're really playing for. Second down, it's Jones. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. We've caught a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. Try and run for the first with Dillon. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take him the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. 
It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And now what the heck is this? A punt formation from the red zone? They try to give themselves a little more room for the punt. Now, I think they're just a product of trying to buy themselves five extra yards. And they want to help their punter out, right? Help with the angle, trying to pin the ball deep. That's exactly what they did there. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Again, it's Dylan. It'll wind up being a huge loss on the play, and that'll bring up a second and goal. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. On second down, Dylan. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Kind of a strange ball.